Well, if you've taken a drive around 440 and Highway 1, you've probably seen quite a few of those plastic shopping bags along the side of the road. But you may be surprised by where a lot of those bags are coming from. CBS North Carolina investigates Jonathan Rodriguez has our special report. Well, it's estimated Americans use about 100 billion of these plastic bags every single year, and they're lightweight. It's easy for them to get away from us. So take a look. We're driving along Highway 1 here. This is the route that trash trucks actually take our trash from the city of Raleigh down to the South Wake landfill. But we followed some of those trucks and found out a lot of these guys don't ever make it. There's a problem here. It's not the traffic, but what's around it. Plastic bags that litter the highways. They belong here, not here. And it turns out a lot of them are coming from these trash trucks. How many? My photographer and I decided to find out. We took the news Jeep for an experiment. With cameras rolling, we followed these trucks to see if we'd see them dropping any plastic bags. And boy, did we. It's it's been a real problem. These trailers haul the city of Raleigh's trash from a transfer station to the landfill near Apex. We followed several trucks on their trips, and this one had 23 plastic bags fly out. So we first took our video to Wake County Solid Waste Director John Robertson. We checked out some of the trucks, and you do. You see bag after bag after bag coming from these trucks. Is it a concern for you guys? Yeah, certainly. Um, it's something we've been aware of for probably six months to a year. And you might be thinking, well, okay, what's 23 bags? But they add up quickly. The company usually runs 10 trucks who make at least three trips a day, six days a week. Based on the trucks we followed, they lost on average about 15 bags each trip. At that rate, these trucks can drop more than 2,500 bags in a week and more than 135,000 in a year. We contract with a company called Stafford Transport of NC. Uh, they, they are owned by a parent company called CEI. All right, don't forget the untold. Tommy Smith likes to talk trash. Trash business, that is. He works for Custom Ecology Incorporated and says the problem started when they switched to automated tarps that left gaps in the front and the back of the trailers. What I'm experiencing is as the wind hits the trailer, goes over, it creates a vortex, it makes that thing flat. It would literally suck a light bag or a light piece of paper out. Ironically, this litter pickup driver happened to pass us while we followed the littering truck. They can collect some of the plastic bags, but many are left on the side of the road, waving around in trees or even in nearby ponds and streams. So that's something we're going to press them on to have resolved within the next couple of months. Was it a concern for you guys? Is it a concern? It, it has been a concern since we put them on, yeah. Smith admits they've been trying for months different ways to keep the tarps down. He says they're in the business of hauling trash, not spreading it. So we asked what they're going to do about it. What I'm doing is switching back to a manual uh, roll tarp. This style tarp has five straps that are attached to the to the long pipe, which is about 50 feet long. It also has a flap on the front and a flap on the back that goes over both sides. They are also strapped so that no air gets under it. It doesn't flap. It's tight. So far, they've already converted eight trucks back to manual tarps. When can we expect to see all your trucks covered? Uh, hopefully within the next 30 days. A fix that Smith says should finally bag the problem. It's, it's a costly venture, but I think it's best for the company as well as the county and the citizens of the county. You probably can't see them on our camera, but we have seen plenty of plastic bags along the side of the road here. We asked the company if they've ever been ticketed for losing any bags. They tell us no, but of course, if these were your bags coming out of your vehicle, you can get a ticket for either littering or failure to secure a load. So they say if you're going to throw away these bags, make sure you put them in another bag. They'll give them some more weight. Of course, the best option is to just recycle these. In Raleigh tonight, Jonathan Rodriguez, CBS North Carolina Investigates. Recycling, that's some good advice. All right, Jonathan, thank you. If you have an issue you want the CBS North Carolina Investigates team to check out, you can email them at investigates at WNCN.com.